usually commanded by Micah Jenkins, but this time with Jenkins wounded, uh, commanded uh, uh, by one of Jenkins' subordinates. Stuart will take his man, its cavalry, move out the York Road, uh, reach a position north and east of Gettysburg, turn southward uh, into the area of the uh, Rummel's farm, uh, and there on an engagement that will be known uh, to history as a cavalry engagement on East Cavalry Field, Stuart and his four brigades of cavalry with him at that time, at about 2.30 in the afternoon, will meet and engage two brigades of Union cavalry. The, uh, the Union cavalry is commanded by David McMurtry Gregg, but more important before posterity and for people with interest in the Civil War, one of the two brigades under uh, under David McMurtry Gregg is George Armstrong Custer. Now George Armstrong Custer on the uh, 29th day of June had been promoted from lieutenant to brigadier general and now he is uh, going from a relatively minor officer that possessed, that possessed a great deal of luck to commanding a brigade of cavalry. The, uh, so the engagement will begin about 2.30 in the afternoon. This is about the time that Pickett's attack has been launched against the, the Union main line of resistance along Cemetery Ridge. Now, East Calvary Field, probably the least visited part of the Gettysburg battlefield, is being going to be very important because uh, in the fighting there, Stuart's mission, which is to penetrate toward the Union rear, uh, hopefully break and reach the uh, Baltimore Pike, which will be important to the Union, to the Confederates, if Pickett's charge succeeds. Of course, Pickett's charge is not going to succeed because uh, the Union line of retreat would have to be the Baltimore Pike if Pickett's charge uh, would succeed. But, uh, but of course, we're going into what we know today, not what they knew at that time. And it's a, a the engagement is rather vicious for cavalry. It'll ebb and flow, and about three o'clock, Stuart will make one final effort to win the battle and drive Gregg's man from the position uh, on East Cavalry Field. It will result in rather uh, vicious hand-to-hand uh, -hand fighting, probably the largest cavalry engagement in the Civil War, which is fought primarily by mounted units. Now, in this uh, charge, which will be participated in by Hampton's Brigade and Fitz Lee's Brigade, will be one of the units will be the 4th Virginia. And they will clash particularly with the uh, uh, with units of Custer's command, and particularly with the 7th and the 1st Michigan Cavalry, reinforced later by the 5th Michigan Cavalry. And the Union will, for the first time on a cavalry engagement, uh, better than hold their own. Stuart's attack will uh, be repulsed, He'll fall back uh, to uh, Crest Ridge, reform on Crest Ridge. The Union pulled back to their position uh, near the intersection of the uh, Low Dutch Road and the uh, 
Hanover Road, and they will glare at each other, uh, waiting for further developments. The further developments will be that Lee, with the failure of Pickett's charge, will decide that he has been bested in the Battle of Gettysburg, and he will have to go back to Virginia. During the retreat back to Virginia, Stuart's cavalry will, will redeem themselves for the errors of, of omission that had on the ride up, forgetting that Stuart's primary mission was to alert Lee when the Union Army crossed the Potomac River, and he never hears from Stuart. He has to learn the hard way that the Union Army is across the Potomac River and be drawn into a battle which, as a Monday morning quarterback, we know he's going to lose. Of course, he doesn't. We're having an advantage Lee does not have. Uh, so it was, uh, it would be, uh, so Stuart plays a major role on day three at Gettysburg. During the retreat from Gettysburg, Stuart will greatly re uh, will redeem himself as he covers Lee's retreat from Gettysburg by way of uh, Hagerstown, Maryland to Falling Waters, Maryland, and, uh, and Williamsport where Lee will arrive and find heavy rains have caused the, for the uh, Potomac to rise 13 feet, impossible for soldiers to cross. So Lee will be there with his back across uh, against the Potomac River, praying and hoping the river will fall. It falls sufficiently that his men can recross the river on the night of the, uh, of the uh, 13th and 14th. And Stuart's actions on holding, more than holding his own against the Union cavalry during the period uh, from the 6th day of July through the 12th day of July uh, probably ensures that Lee's army will escape to fight again. 